everyone hope you all fine there i am also fine here today we will see five more current affairs which will be easy for you to revise and recollect during this pandemic before that i have asked about one tirukural yesterday no that was given now selvathul selvam sevichelvam achelvam selvathul ellam thalai another task for today is karka kasadara karpavai katrappi nirka adarku thaga find out the meaning for this tirukural also Okay, let's go first one is national clean air program it comes under ministry of environment forest and climate change in order to curb air pollution because air pollution is a menace to india so in order to avoid that national clean air program has been advised and promoted by ministry of environment forest and climate change so it is a mid mid term five year action plan because it was started from june 2019 only so 2019 is taken as the first year to compare this uh, concentration of a particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter, particulate matter 10 2017 is taken as the base year our target is to achieve 20% to 30% reduction of particulate matter 2.5 and 10 by 2024 and we are using the smart cities program to launch the national green, clean air program and it is a collaborative participatory approach towards curbing air pollution and it is a multi scale and cross sectoral coordination among the central ministries state governments and also involving the people participation in this next one is light combat aircraft tejas it is a news because our the first minister to fly lca that is light combat aircraft tejas is our honorable defense minister rajnath singh so it is a news so, so we have to know about lca tejas literally tejas means power brilliance this is the meaning so it comes under ministry of defense it is an indigenously built multi role fighter aircraft so that is so important because it is an indigenous product it is indigenously developed by aircraft development agency under drdo it is manufactured by hindustan aeronautics limited public sector undertaking it is to boost make in india program in india and because of this indigenous product many countries have been asking for tejas from us because of its uh, uniqueness because it is smallest and lightest multi role supersonic fighter aircraft of this class and it has only single engine and a compound delta wing tailless aircraft and it meets the ne- needs of indian air force and indian navy please make note of its features because they may confuse you so regularly keep revising these features okay so next which is very popular in news is the transgender persons protection of rights act 2019 so it comes under ministry of social justice and empowerment so what is uh, the definition of transgender you can you may use this uh, definition of transgender in your gs1 paper and also in any essay paper regarding transgender or third gender empowerment empowerment so read these definition and they have given that persons with a socio cultural identity such as kinnar and hijra kinnar and hijra kinnar is nothing but a hindu mythological character part human or part animal so hijra is nothing but um, the local names given for uh, third gender or transgender people or intersex people or eunuchs additionally intersex variation definition is also given in this act okay the first one is prohibition against discrimination in education employment health care access to or enjoyment of goods facilities opportunities right to movement they also have all the fundamental rights so the society has to change their beha- the social behavior has to change towards them so the ministry of social justice and empowerment has taken a legal action so next certificate of identity for a transgender person this is so important because who is authorized to give the certificate district magistrate for identifying their gender so they have given revised certificate will be given only if that individual undergo surgery to change gender either as a male or a female so make note of it expenses and penalties so forced or bonded labor is avoided uh, except on the purpose for the public purpose and denial of use of public places removal from household and villages physical sexual verbal uh, emotional or economic abuse these are all the offenses and penalties are also available that is for these penalties for these offenses vary from between 6 months and 2 years and also a fine because these people are always vulnerable in the society so the government has taken a legislative action to protect them also welfare measures are taken by government to ensure their full inclusion and participation in the society and 
they are the government is taking steps for their rescue and rehabilitation through vocational training self employment and also aid schemes that are transgender sensitive and promote their participation in cultural activities holistic development of the transgender people so to give authentication to their uh, issues the government that is the ministry has created national council for transgender persons which is a decision making body for them it will be consisting of uh, consisting of union minister of social justice as the chairperson vice chairperson will be minister of state of social justice and empowerment and secretary will be there one representative from health home affairs and human resource development because we need an inclusive growth growth and development and other members will be representatives from niti ayog planning body and national human rights commission and state governments will also be represented here in this body and it also consists of five members from the transgender community it's to raise their issues and uh, to make a proper decision in the policies and plans and the council will advise the central government as well as monitor the impact of policy legislation and projects with respect to transgender persons it also addresses the grievances so next one is tropax 19 tropax 19 is nothing but the annual integrated theater level operational readiness exercise which will be conducted on western seaboard it is an yearly exercise so western seaboard means arabian sea and north indian ocean and it included uh, tri services amphibious exercise both on land as well as in water it is conducted and the participation of army and air force personnel as well as its assets like ships so this year 60 ships of indian navy 12 ships of indian coast guard and 60 aircrafts participated in this tropax exercise it is conducted to test the joint combat capabilities as well as the testing war capabilities of tri services the next one is national ganga council because it was constituted as a statutory body under environment protection act 1986 in 2016 but the first meeting was held only in 2019 at kanpur in uttar pradesh five basin states uh, important dignitaries have come to attend this uh, national ganga council meeting uh, under the chairmanship of prime minister it comes under prime minister's office uh, and uh, it is also known as the national council for rejuvenation protection and management of river ganga and uh, it replaces the national river ganga basin authority its aim is to reinforce the importance of ganga centric approach in all the departments of the concerned states that is five basin states are there no uttarakhand uttar pradesh uh, bihar west bengal and jharkhand and uh, relevant as well as the relevant central ministries west bengal has not participated in this meeting and as well as jharkhand has not participated due to the model code of conduct let's see the key points discussed in the meeting so the focus is on swachhata aviralta and nirmalta that is a clean clear and consistent flow should be there in ganga and because so far 2015 to 2020 government has uh, committed uh, 20000 crore projects for cleaning ganga and uh, so far 7000 crore has been spent for sewage treatment plants in and around ganga and uh, they have proposed a clean ganga fund that is it will facilitate contributions from individuals nris corporate entities for funding the ganga rejuvenation projects so make note of the individuals nris corporate entities they may confuse you with these words and the government is focusing on ganga centric approach no so from namami ganga to sustainable development model that is arth ganga that is they are setting they are promoting hybrid tourism because the five basin states are religious as well as uh, adventure tourism accessible places and digital dashboard will be set up which will be collecting data from villages and urban bodies and will be monitored on a daily basis in order to avoid water pollution at a serious level by niti ayog and ministry of jal shakti and all districts bordering the ganga should be made a focus area for monitoring the efforts under Nam- namami ganga program and also make a note that uh, Na- national mission for clean ganga is a registered society which was established in 2011 okay thank you for watching subscribe to app is channel till then stay positive stay healthy keep smiling be happy nandri